bitch was a dance Can't find a drink of man Where are my keys? I lost my phone Gaga, which y'all did nice, an excellent nice. job on that. So, can you kind of yeah. tell us what was going on with Lady Gaga and why you chose that song and everything? Yeah, actually, um, we had been practicing for a couple months, and we had been <laughs> in the garage and just kind of rocking out and kind of, yeah, me and Michael had been writing, we were just kind of putting all the music together at that point, and we had uh, you know several songs down. Steve, the lead singer, really wanted to have a song. He really felt that it was important for us to have a song that everybody could connect to at the concert, especially being just, you know, the new band on the block. But he thought it would be, you know, just good to have that uh, kind of connection point in the, in the middle of a concert. We could just throw that song in, and it would just be a song everybody knows. I mean, it's been all over the radio and stuff. And uh, So anyway, we, we started working on it, and it just really came together really, really well. Michael actually put together that breakdown at the end, and it just it just blew the song up. I mean, just really, really rocked that song out. And we just wanted like a fun, like kind of punk kind of feel to it. And and uh, anyway, we went into the studio and Caleb is actually in the band with, uh, you know, Never Shout Never, worked with us to kind of create the song and all the, the amazing elements that it, that's, that's in it now. And we really felt like it was an amazing song when it was all said and done. You know, we, we, there was just a whole bunch of elements in it and we really loved it, so. That was uh, kind of the story behind that song. Well, I definitely can say you listened to it all the way through and tell y'all are pretty much masters of of melody and screamo and pretty much any kind of genre, like you said, punk, all the year round. So, yeah, I dig it. It sticks yeah. in my head all day. <laughs> uh, you know, it's the song's great. I mean, we, me and Michael both grew up with a lot of punk, and actually there's actually a really huge band punk band that got back together and me and him were like man we got to go to their concert and or even good old mxtx i mean that's the yeah. sort of stuff we grew up on and we we just love it it's just punk is just so much fun um it, it always has been fun in our minds so we wanted to definitely have that infusion in in all of our music you know just kind of that just that upbeat happy kind of feel that punk always uh brings yeah and it's always so punk is just upfront and truthful and this is the way it is and this is the way we feel yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And Brandon would absolutely. love to be here to talk about that today. Oh, I'm sorry, Brandon, because <laughs> he loves his punk. Catch the rest of the interview with Frank from This Night Is Forever, free on iTunes under podcast or podcast.anvilinthehammer.com. 